Hey everybody, welcome back to Life in the North 40. I'm Rick. And I'm Brittany. Thanks for joining us on this big adventure building this off-grid cabin in the Rocky Mountains. If you're enjoying our cabin build content, please subscribe to our channel and give us a big thumbs up. Let's go. <laughs> Babe, you see, now look out the window. Check the placement of the window. Beautiful view. Well, obviously my wife Brittany's excited about her progress and so am I. We've got that front and back wall framed and stood, and we've got those rafters over the cabin and the deck. I'm excited to show you how we got it done, and everything is looking great. We might not be pros, but we're definitely Joes. What you see here is my original pencil sketch for that framing plan for the front wall. That front wall is going to be a nine foot uh, tall wall, and the back wall is going to be six and a half feet tall I and mean, that's going to give us a, a 312 pitch shed style pitch roof and then we're going to put the header board on the deck beams those four by fours on the front of that ledger board on the deck for the roof over the deck we're going to put that at eight feet and that's going to make that a two two point four twelve pitch all right so we've got our headers ready to go for our front wall six foot window it's a 72 by 48, pretty good large sized window, vinyl window, that will really be able to take in the views over that deck uh, through our aperture between those four by fours of the pond and the cedar trees. So just went ahead and I got, this is a uh, two by eight and a cut to fit and then a piece of OSB cut and sandwiched with another piece of two by eight. So that right there, that OSB will give it the uh, proper thickness overall. Uh, for that header in the frame itself and uh, of the front wall. And this is for the door, same concept. Uh, use two by six here, um, a little less large. So that'll be over our door. There'll be a door and a big window on that front wall. You boys ready to go down on the cabin? Work on the cabin? Have some fun? Yeah, we're gonna go down there. You guys gonna help or chew on bones? Probably chew on bones. Stand on that pry bar like right there, please. Right there. But up, up too far, back toward you, right there. On three. One, two, three. Oh, not bad. bad. Not bad. Stand it, stand it, stand it. Keep walking, 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 walking. Okay, okay, okay. Walking, walking, walking. Keep going. So we're now going to have to slide it into position. Okay, you hold it. Okay. I'm going to walk my side. Okay. I'm going to grab my hammer. This is so exciting. Because <clears throat> it isn't where I need it. Look how tall that is. This is awesome. 
edge. Check level and plumb on this side, okay? And then I'm gonna put screws in to hold it in place where it's level. Babe, you see, now look out the window. Check the placement of the window. Beautiful view. Beautiful view. Okay. You're even more beautiful. Check that. <laughs> So we have a majorly twisted 4x4. Obviously we put these in when we were doing the deck. These have been sitting, they've got heat, sun, rain. And so this thing is completely dog leg twisted. It's the worst one. So we're trying to true it up. It's at the right height now. We want the top of this ledger, outside rim ledger uh, for our deck roof um, at eight foot. Okay, it's an exactly a foot lower than the top of our front wall for our drop at five feet. Pretty good little drop, not a very big roof, but we're gonna shed well. Hey, we got our walls framed, no roof yet, but I'll tell you what we do have. Already installed, no roof, no walls on yet, but we do have our boots. Installed, ready to go. But you know what, we need this. <laughs> All right, our first roofing rafter. These are two by eights, a little bigger stock than two by sixes just for you know, in case a limb falls on the, the cabin, a tree or something, it's definitely gonna support that weight a lot better than two by sixes. We are gonna have sheathing and then a metal roof. Got our first board here and I just clamped it with a little one by one. I just screwed it into my stud just to lock it in place. Right now, I gotta find my spots to notch my rafter for my bird's mouth here and up here. I want to give myself enough excess to shed snow off the back end on the down slope so the water, snow, and ice doesn't come back, curl in, and hit the side of the cabin. Plus, I got to give myself a little excess up here for a lobe on the front end, uh, front of the forward wall here, to nail in my roof rafter for my deck roof, which are short little run, just around five feet. So, and then that board will run across to that ledger up there so yeah so right now we're going to do our little calculations and get our pencil lines drawn and we're going to start cutting how is it up there great you getting a nosebleed maybe a sunburn up in the high elevations so what i'm doing up here is i marked for my bird's mouth for it to sit on this top plate so i've got a one by one here screwed into this stud so that i could clamp this uh one by eight uh, in place to keep it from moving around. This is my first rafter. So I can get my marks here for my uh, bird's mouth. And I've got quite a bit of excess off here. I'm gonna get a standard length. I think I got over a foot. That's the edge of the, uh, where it nails into the two by six. Thank you. 
my bird's mouth here, right where I need it on both ends. So I'm just using this as a template. I want to set it back inside a little bit and get my lines. I want to make the line go away. So that's nice and flush. Fastest straw in the West. So we've got all of our rafters cut, bird mouths on both ends, and we've got our cutouts for our other end to nail in our runs for the deck roof. That was kind of time consuming. Thank God for the jigsaw. What a blessing. So I'm working my way down the line in between these rafters, getting my bird block in to keep out the critters, the birds, and uh, from getting into the, uh, under the roofing in the attic. So getting these in here and tacked in, plus these really give a lot of stability on rigidity to, to these uh, rafters. So we're just cutting them, working our way down, one at a time, getting them in. Well, perfect. I was making good progress and headway using the nail gun and just tapping in with my hammer. But of course, I dropped my nail gun because I set it up too high, knew better, as usual. Just broke the fitting right off my uh, air hose. So now my air hose is bad. So until I can uh, replace the fitting, reinstall that and or buy a new hose, I guess I'm hand nailing from here on out. So, perfect long ways to uh, get a resupply on a hose so I'm just uh, making progress and then Murphy's Law once again um, at least I'm consistent so we've got uh, the front wall bird block in and looking good everything's looking pretty solid so um, pretty tight that really kind of solidified and sucked in all those rafters and tightened them up so got these uh, lobes cut and trimmed ready to go for my rafters over the deck here I'll nail into those so yeah coming right along so we'll get those uh, runs across the deck next 
they'll be going across to that rim joist or ledger there on the outside of those four by fours. Then once I get those in, across, just laying across, I'll put another one on this side, another two by six by 16 underneath those. And uh, then there'll be two by fours nailed into each individual rafter. Tool bags would be great right about this time. Just too cheap. I'm like, you know what? I don't use them enough. This is a cabin build and one time deal. Sure could use some uh, nail bags. Pretty nice, lining them up one at a time. Looking good. One more. And then we'll have all the rafters on the deck. Feeling like a sense of accomplishment now. Starting to really see it take shape and form. Done, all right. So as you can see, things are coming along really nice. We're really happy with our progress. Not bad for a couple amateur builders. We got that front and back wall framed, and we've got the rafters over the cabin and the deck. Really happy with our progress. Make sure you join us next time for our next steps, getting those side walls framed and getting the roofing on. We'll see you next time.